military leaders and their spouses Thursday night. something very important to share with the world it's not for everybody it's only for the people who has eyes to see and ears to hear and the heart to receive and believe I'm gonna tell you about the message about the signs of, of a president and this starts with me being at home and I say by we but me and uh, uncle a political uncle we hear a noise outside the house and we walk out and all we hear is this humming noise. And it's overwhelming. And it's really, really, really loud. And we go outside, look at the sky, and we can see like this, this ship. We couldn't tell what it was, but it was like a mother ship. It was just a big, really big presence. But uh, by looking really good at it, it wasn't a blimp or anything like that, or a UFO. It was like, um, Aside or something from the government, and but everybody was so curious about the noise that everybody went outside to go look outside, and and everybody just look, and they're shocked. So it does sound pretty much went away, and all of a sudden I'm looking at the right side of the sky, and you see this uh, where it looks like the Air Force One, followed by all these jet fighters, and it's just on stage, it's just up and down. Um, sideways left to right it's just great unstable all over the place and then there was silence complete silence after the silence I knew it was Donald Trump so I had this dream uh, shortly after the elections in 2019 on this happened uh, shortly before January 6 2020 and this is not about January 6th, but just to s specify the timeline here. Because of what happened on January 6th of 2020, uh, this supposed insurrection, uh, all this chaos that happened at the Capitol that uh, got overinflated. Um, he got silenced by Twitter and all social media and that's when I had a dream and he told me to awake shake dreams from your hair my pretty child my sweet one choose the day and choose the sign of your day the day's divinity Yes, my opinion too. I also believe history repeats itself and today's global great reset is not the first. Biblically, as happened many times before, us in the truth movement are like Noah. It was on this morning that I decided on January 10, 2022, to induce myself into a lucid dream state because I wanted to have a lucid dream. So, I listened to this video that's at 432 hertz because I was all into vibration and frequencies and I was asking myself does this help for insomnia or is this stim stimulating for the senses? Now mind you, when I induced myself and watched this video I was nowhere near thinking about the end of the world or nevertheless a, an invasion but I just want to share this dream to, uh, for the rest of the world, uh, especially for those Christians. This is good news. It's a marriage being consummated. And for those that are left behind, well, 
then we got to keep our eyes open and get in with the word. And those who are non-believers and wondering what happened, then I have left a letter for you guys to read, um, just in case. On the stream. And what's so crazy is that here we are, nine, ten months later, I'm realizing that I'm not the only one who's having this kind of dreams. I'm not the only one. And this dream is about World War Three, the end of the world, the land invasion. Seems to be a fake alien invasion and the rapture. seems to be more and more people that are close to God and having these visions. And we are the chosen ones. In my dream, it started with us running. And I mean us, it was me and my ex-stepdaughter and I remember feeling her arm feeling her hands and this in my dream I'm feeling it I'm, I'm feeling the warmth the puffiness of her hand her arms was tiny and I remember seeing her blonde hair and I remember telling her don't panic don't panic as we see all this chaos going around everywhere and we see you saw this military man which in my dreams in past dreams has been the Chinese ever since I was for over four decades I have dreams of an invasion here in Los Angeles and we're running and we're running and there's chaos everywhere and all we see is just explosions everywhere and just like the pictures I just showed you right now where everybody's just running and there's soldiers everywhere and there's explosions and then I see from far away what seemed to be like UFOs or maybe there are parachutes and there are spotlights or maybe it was the rapture no it was the rapture because every woman was crying people were crying good morning everyone we have baking news from downtown LA and we have several unconfirmed screaming and crying and all you hear is this whipping and everywhere and i remember that i hear people saying where did it go where she go and people are disappearing and all of a sudden this little girl it's gone she's gone and i got on my knees and started whipping started crying and said take me god take me Please take me. And I'm watching everybody getting left, left up to the sky and nothing, nothing happened. After that, it was a silence. Everybody was silent, everything was quiet. And I felt bad because I told myself, I was left behind. I was left behind. 
and just like any other dream, the scene changes, and I see some man in the down the hallway, and he kind of like draws me into his room where it's lit, and I can see the profile of the door, and I go in through the door, and all I see is this mirror looking thing it was oval and it had like an orb it was lit up and he was kind of telling me giving me the hint for me to go through it and I did and when I went through it it seemed like I was just falling and falling and falling it seemed like I was going through this very multi-color whirlpool or a bunch of blocks everywhere it was just very psychedelic and as I guess hit rock bottom or hit the floor which I never did hit the floor I just kind of stood up and I felt like I was in a new body and I told myself did I pass away? Did I pass on? There's a new body. And it gave me this feeling that it was a different me, a new body that was able to pick up things. My body was magnetized was able to pick up things, metal things, and and do things I've never done before. We're gonna hear a couple of testimonies from other people saying very similar things to the point that it is. And you should hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you not be troubled for all these things was come to pass but the end is not yet for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in various places all these are the beginning of sorrows the beginning of sorrows is war during the time that we're living in and the rumors of wars are these the beginning of sorrows. As you try to wrap your mind around that, it really, it's really a deep scripture. It's a really profound scripture, one that makes you look within yourself and you get this cognitive, like picture and film of destruction. Good afternoon, I am Franchise Pearson and welcome to my channel. It is Friday, September 23rd of 2022, almost high noon. I read from you the scripture in Matthew, the 24th chapter, starting with the sixth verse. People, about a month ago, I did a uh, video, I produced a video. Try to find out uh, in my research where it was, but couldn't find it, but Maybe you guys can help me in the comment section after the video. But there was a pastor who said God gave him this dream, showed him this dream of China invading America. And the dream in part was Congress was in their chamber and this one man basically took over everything and all of Congress was in shock. They were scared. 
basically there was a takeover going on. And the long and short of it is we were in the grips of something that was a surprise. So to hear about wars and rumors of wars prophesied and then kingdom against kingdom when you think about the word kingdom you think about an established order at least I do and if China comes into your domain that means they've taken control of your order. I never forgot that prophecy that that minister uh, put out there. It's somewhere on YouTube. God bless him for doing it, revealing that to us. But we're living in a biblical time of dreams and visions. Do you believe what it is that you're hearing today? If you go on social media, there are a myriad of people saying that God has been showing them visions and dreams of the last days, particularly of war and the takeover of America from within. So what I want to do is show you a few of those videos. And I want to take a historical look because I have a book all the way from I think it's from the mid 80s or late 70s. Dr. Charles R. Taylor used to teach on um, Christian ministry on TV back in the day. And man, he was very descriptive, biblically based about what is prophesied in real time. So let's look at this first video. I want you to see this and then you tell me what you think and so this prophecy is entitled d-day and it's very short and i read this is the word of the lord d-day shall be once again terror and unpreparedness revisited this time on you america ships will emerge out of the fog and you will be surrounded on both sides east and west they will squeeze you in a vice until you vomit out your treasures into the hands of your worst enemies will bow down before them in servitude and become slaves. If you think this is a joke, wait and see. D-Day revisited. Wait and see. So that's the entire prophecy. And I made a note here. It says this prophecy re refers to a seaborne invasion, invasion by sea, a huge force of soldiers, allies working together for a common goal, and a decisive military blow struck against a common enemy. But most of all, this prophecy refers to a surprise so I have prophecies on the blog where I've seen airborne invasion and so many soldiers parachuting down from the sky I mean the sky was just thick with them with foreign soldiers parachuting down from the sky and I've also seen these huge hulls you know as if I'm standing on the beach and this massive ship comes out of the fog and these ships are landing on the shores of America on the east coast and on the west coast and she is utterly unprepared does not even know that the beaches are being stormed I've seen submarines coming up you know and soldiers storming the beaches literally coming out of the sea as well and the understanding that the Lord has given me actually the clear the clear thing that he has said is that this will be China and this will be Russia with their allies coming to invade the United States now my question to you is, have we become that compromised and vulnerable that they would strike? Arguably, we've made a lot of enemies, a lot of enemies. I've been watching this since the 70s and overseas, we've, we, you know, Afghanistan, Iran, uh, dealing with the PLO back in the day with Yasser Arafat. We've got nemesis everywhere. And yeah, it is definitely possible that even if they hate each other, that is foreigners, they can get together and if they have a common cause against us. Yeah. 
Now, this book, World War III and the Destiny of America by Dr. Charles R. Taylor, he goes into scripture, the book of Revelation. It says, uh, World War III as revealed from the heavens. Seven great judgments to come upon the earth and each heralded by the sounding of seven trumpets by angels who are portrayed as standing before God in heaven. It is the four trumpet judgments proclaimed in chapter eight, which describe the devastation to be wroth during and as a result of World War III. Three other trumpet judgments follow and are described in Revelation 9 and 11. These last three judgments, however, are specifically portrayed as woes to come upon the earth. The separation is definite, even as the text reveals. There are to be divine judgments far beyond the capacity of mankind to imagine and alone to produce. Key word, the woe, W-O-E. But the first four trumpet judgments are a very real description of thermonuclear warfare and are totally within the scope of man's ability to produce today. Note that the exact extent of the devastation is clearly prophesied here. Only by divine inspiration could such specific figures be given and be fulfilled for the revelation was written in AD 95. The prophecy will be quoted here and the potential for its exact fulfillment will be shown in the pages that follow note. Revelation 8, 2, and I saw the seven angel who stood before God and to them were given seven trumpets. Revelation 8, 6, and the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. Revelation 7, the first angel sounded and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of the trees were burnt up and all green grass was burnt up. It goes on and talks about the third part of the sea became blood and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died and the third part of the ships were destroyed. So yeah, that's destruction. World War III, Destiny of America, one of my keepsake books. Okay, let's read about current events which are happening here. Uh, and this is dealing with China also as well. China, Russia exploring ties between two authoritarian, authoritarian, authoritarian powers. China and Russia have a long and complicated history marked by periods of solidarity as well as disagreement. The neighbors have strengthened ties over the past decade, but some experts question the depth of their strategic partnership. They say the countries aligned is driven more by their common rivalry with the United States than any natural affinity for each other. In the past, tensions have flared over issues, including uh, communist doctrine, their extensive shared borders. So then it goes on and on and says, um, the turning point in relationship and how their relationship develops will likely have a major consequences for the international order, particularly America. Here's another one. Top U.S. commander warns front line with China now south of border. South of border. Now was March of this year. Military serviceman gives a warning about China being on our border. I don't know if you heard about also the allege that um, China was um, uh, training over in Canada when Trump was uh, president and he kicked him out of there. Put that in the comment section if you remember that they said that's what was happening. So how they've been creeping up on and off in our backyard. Quote, just as a top U.S. defense and diplomatic officials are meeting with allies in Asia to find ways to counter the threat from a rising, more aggressive, aggressive China, a key military commander is 
wanting the front line in the competition for global dominance between Washington and Beijing is much closer to home. The commander of U.S. forces in Central and South America, Southern Commanders Admiral Craig Fowler, told lawmakers Tuesday that China has become the leading threat in the region, taking advantage of the coronavirus pandemic and increased lawlessness to impose its will on a growing number of countries. So the way I interpret it is that because we were in social chaos with BLM and the George Floyd, China was making a move. Remember, I broke the story that I believe that BLM was a fraud and so was George Floyd. And the question is who was behind it? Because from a strategic standpoint, if C-H-I-N-A caused it, it was a good tactic to deflect so we could, so they could do something else while this was going on. Or, or as we were in social chaos, they took advantage of that situation and that, that expand, expand themselves strategically. Quote, I look at the hemisphere as the front line of competition, Father told members of the Senate Armed Services Committee, further describing Beijing's efforts as a full court press. That's deep, people. That's deep. Now, the other day, Trump was interviewed, and uh, he gave a warning. And he basically is saying that... Um, this current administration, the Biden administration, they have allowed a lot of key strategies that Trump set up to keep us safe, especially like the borders. This administration has has been um, laxed. And uh, I'll let you hear it. He said, he said, I just paraphrase. One of the worst things we ever did was allow China and Russia to become close. I'll let you hear it off of his lips. Because he wouldn't be able to afford it. He wouldn't be able to go forward. But he's making so much money, even above and beyond the cost of war. And he's selling it to China and he's selling it to other places. And Europe is going to dump us. You watch. Because they're not going to allow their people to freeze. So they're going to dump us. We're out there fighting. We're spending many times more money than them. And they're going to, we, they will be dumping us. You know, we did one thing very bad. We allowed Russia and China to unify. That's a very bad thing. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here. So much money, even above and beyond the cost of war. And he's selling it to China and he's selling it to other places. And Europe is going to dump us. You watch because they're not going to allow their people to freeze. So they're going to dump us. We're out there fighting. We're spending many times more money than them. And they're going to they will be dumping us. You know, we did one thing very bad. We allowed Russia and China to unify. That's a very bad thing. Hey, Sean. I want you to hear it twice. Sometime God allows you to hear things and it's a foreshadow. And even if you haven't been keeping up with current events, there are certain things that are said many times that you know that you know. This world chessboard Biden's losing. He's losing. One more. I want you to check out this video here. This is more detailed. Another prophecy. And our bodies are transformed. And the lady calls them orbs. As a military strikes happen. So she's saying as a military strike happens, the rapture happens simultaneously. Check this out. The first 
um, dream or vision that I want to I want to tell everyone about. Um, I was in downtown Houston. There was explosions going off everywhere in the city, everywhere, all over downtown. These explosions were like red, orange, and black. Those are the three colors that I remember in these explosions. Like they would just explode into fire. This happened at night. It did not happen in the broad daylight. It happened when everybody was asleep. So our U-S-S-I-I-A-A are coming at night. They're not going to come when, when we're awake and, and we're able to find somewhere to go. This happened in the middle of the night. There were not even that much cars on the freeway in this vision. And I was standing over 45, 45 freeway. And when I saw these explosions going off, going off, I was like, God, what is this? What am I seeing? And I started to see these little tiny balls of light that were coming up out from, from the city and shooting straight up into the sky. And it wasn't, it wasn't a whole lot of them. It was like maybe four or five or eight out of the buildings or out of the apartment buildings and the homes that were coming up and going up into the sky. So that's what I saw. And I was asking God, I said, why am I downtown? Lord, I don't even live downtown. I live in, in a suburb, in a suburban, like suburb area. And like, it does like downtown is not five minutes away from my house. Okay. So I was asking God, why am I seeing them? And he told me, because you are one of these, one of these things that you're seeing going up. And God told me the reason why I was seeing them as white orbs is because these were the saints in their glorified bodies. But because they were so far away and because they were so spread out over the entire city, all I could see were these little white balls, but they were actually human beings. Okay. The rapture is getting ready to happen. When these bombs are coming or when these nukes are coming down on Houston, the rapture will be taking place at the same time. Get saved while you can. There is no more time. Time has... Warning. So, have you been getting visions and dreams? Put in the comment section. I've read in the past where people have shared some things, but if you've had something similar to this, especially with Russia and China, put in the comment section. And just like that pastor I said about a month ago, I did a video on that. I've been getting these bits and pieces, people. I don't believe it's by accident God's been showing these things to me or allowing me to see them. And I'm drawing from my historical context. And with the technology that we have in place, and yeah, if you do your due diligence, you can find newspaper articles and magazines and even videos where China is right at the door. And yeah, as much as we might not want to accept it, we have to look at the BLM and the George Floyd and these different events and ask ourselves, what happened since 2019? I have a smirk on my face for a reason. I want you to read between the lines. These are judgments, people. These things are being allowed to happen. The Bible does say if we pray and change and turn from my wicked ways, God will heal the land. By the same token, we know that prophecy will come, come true. I pray God on a time and basis that we are not here as Christians when these bonds begin to fall. But I do believe there are enough signs around us since 2019, more overtly any other time in history. All the social unrest and the things which are happening in terms of our laws, the way our politicians are acting, the ones in charge, it shows signs that some, something has taken a hold of our way of life and our government. My name is French Shot Pierce. If you don't know Jesus as your savior, this is the time to know him.
Just like you hear that alarm and the siren in the background, there's an alarm going on right now. God is calling. He sent Jesus as his savior, as the savior for mankind. He shed his blood for the remission of our sins. We are sinners that need to be saved by grace. This is the time, the acceptable time. Confess him as your savior. Ask him to come into your heart. John 3, 16. Get to have a personal relationship with him and escape from this living hell that's coming upon us. I will pray for you and you pray for me. God bless America. God bless the world. This video was to let everybody know Jesus Christ is coming back soon. And let's get ready. Let's be ready. And this is what this video is about. And if we're not right with God, let's be right with God because these things are coming.